Get up, you bunch of slothy bums! Amanda yelled without a qualm. It's time to get to work, you two! She yelled over the ship's intercom. Blaze and Pandora arose groggily and stepped onto the cold metal floor. Blaze chuckled inside himself, seeing Pandora's bad hair war. But a few minutes later, her shred locks were tamed and they stepped out into the foyer. And standing there was Dex Kramer, today's liaison for their employer. He was the one who'd helped Pandora on the bridge the day before, and he would be the one to give them their new home's grand tour. Morning, you two. How did you sleep? Not very shallow, not very deep. Well, at least it wasn't bad, am I right? Let's start off our tour today with something you might like. And so Dex took them on a whirlwind tour of their new home, the Magnus Canis. She was a complicated assortment of parts, custom-built to help their chances. Blaze was amazed by all he saw, and Pandora agreed as well. The ship seemed to have infinite stories, and stories Dex was ready to tell. He'd pass by an object and tell them how this saved his life while he was in the Manchuri Canal, or how that gizmo helped him escape hundreds of grieved forces, and how their jaws did gape. But then Dex came to the heart of it all, the engine Model X-20 known as the Grand Mall. Pandora couldn't help herself and hugged the amazing device. Blaze smiled at her enthusiasm and Dex said, Wait till you see what's inside. I did a lot of work on old Mally too. She can run off any fuel in the universe, even off stale old wood glue. But I only have three feeder systems. Amanda's kind of a cheapskate. I keep telling her we need options for fuel especially as of late. The vampiric feeder system saved our life yesterday. Hopefully Amanda can see that. You can show her the way. Yeah, but... Suddenly Dex was cut off. The alarm system sounded and James was ticked off. The one from yesterday who'd lowered a rope and the one who Amanda called an idiot dope. He yelled through the intercom for all to hear. Grievian ship popped out of nowhere. It's a 320 sphere. He got some big time munitions and he's coming over. Amanda's voice pierced the intercom. Operation Red Rover! 